Hey, Waddles, Jay here. Minecraft Compass, what does it do? Does it tell you your fate? Does it point you to zero, zero? Does it point you to your world spawn? You could take a guess down below right now, but today we'll find out for sure, because this week's episode of the Everything series, well, uh, to put it nicely, this week's episode should probably have a wide load sign on it. This week, we've got a three in one, the compass. Nowadays, Minecraft 1.19.2, the game has three total compasses. If we're gonna talk about the compass, there is only one place we can begin. With the OG, the classic, the original, the compass. Bruh. <laughs> oh, well that's wonderful. Check this out. When the compass was originally added to Minecraft, the game looked a little bit something like this. The compass was first added to Minecraft in secret update number 9 on September 10th, 2010. That's over 35 years ago. Back when this was the new hot fresh version of Minecraft, there was no creative inventory. So if we want to get the compass, we're going to have to grind this thing out. Let's go. And so, after a long and extensive grinding process down here, deep in the mines, on day one, a compass, finally, I can craft one, and here we go. It's pretty much the same. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> Over the course of the compass's now 12-year lifespan, there have been updates and updates, so many changes. We'll answer that intro question in just a second, but first things first, head down below the video and drop a like, and check out the compass crafting recipe. Back in that ancient version of Minecraft, the recipe was exactly the same as it is now. With a crafting recipe that hasn't changed at all in over 12 years, this thing's old. It is a relatively common misconception that the compass points you toward 0-0 in your world. Here I am, in my brand new survival world. The very first thing I've done in my world, as you should always do, is get a compass. And so check out this compass. Something interesting is going on with the needle on this thing. The compass has 102 different unique frames. The needle is always pointing at the same thing while this thing spins and spins and spins. If we go ahead and pick this compass up and then just follow the needle, this is basically how you will find world spawn in your world. Compass does not point to 0, zero unless coincidentally 0, zero is the spawn of your world. From the looks of things in this world, it looks like world spawn will be this specific block right here. We know we found it once the needle starts flipping back and forth. But keep in mind, as long as you haven't messed with anything in your world, you won't always spawn on that block. Spawn has a spawn radius mechanic. All that this specific block being world spawn means is that you'll spawn somewhere centered around that block right there. But anyways, a spawn tutorial is kind of a job for another time. The compass. The compass will always lead you to world spawn, unless, however, you're in a dimension where world spawn is not. Exception number one. Off to the nether. Once we enter the nether and everything loads up, if we take a look at the hotbar, the compass specifically, it's spinning crazily, just around and around and around. The compass has absolutely no clue what's going on in this dimension, because world spawn isn't in this dimension. <laughs> I also think I maybe got like one of the worst nether spawns of all time. <laughs> How am I even meant to get out of the nether? So that's what happens when you take the compass to the nether. Predictably, if you take the compass with you over to the end, the same exact thing is going to happen, unfortunately. The needle just spins and spins and spins. It should definitely be different here, though. Maybe this is the perfect opportunity for, like, a different compass and a locator compass or something. But in my opinion, the compass in the end should always point towards zero, zero. Or, in other words, the center of this obelisk right here. But we've got a lot to talk about. The ideas? Eh. Ideas are a thing for another time. The compass, it'll always lead you to world spawn, even if you move world spawn. Using commands, if we were to move world spawn to, I don't know, like over here, the compass will know. It figures it out instantly. Unfortunately for us, if we want a compass, but we don't want to craft it, and we definitely don't want to explore, then we'd be out of luck. However, if we had a compass and we wanted to get rid of it, there is an option. Hey, hey, you, you, come over here, work here. Check this out, Cartographer Villager at the Journeyman level, or in other words, the third level, will buy a compass from you for one emerald. But as you could probably see over here, that's not the only place the compass is popping up. The compass is going to be a payment requirement alongside emeralds for this trade right here and this trade right here. Both of those trades are explorer maps, and speaking of exploring, exploring for the compass is definitely an option. 
The compass can be found inside of four structure loot tables on both Java and Bedrock Edition. The first place you'll be able to find this thing is sometimes inside of the ruined portal chest. But that's definitely not all. You'll also have the chance to find compasses inside of the stronghold chests. But the stronghold is just too easy for you. You're looking for more of a challenge? Well, then maybe consider checking out the ancient city loot chests. You can find it here too. And finally, last but not least, the other place that you'll be able to find the compass generating is inside of the village loot chests. Now, speaking of villages again, on Bedrock Edition, if you're trying to unload your compasses on the villagers, you're going to need a cartographer villager to be at the expert level to unlock that compass trade. Can you enchant the compass? Uh, well, actually, believe it or not, yes, you can. In Survival Minecraft, you can put one enchantment on the compass, and it's not even really an enchantment. It's a curse. The curse of vanishing can be put on the compass. What's pretty cool is you can actually also rename your compass to something cool too, if you wanted to. So we've done it. We've reached pretty much the end of the road for our good old classic compass friend. And finally, you could take your compass and survival Minecraft, if you wanted to, and turn it into a map. That is the only crafting recipe that the compass is used in. Let's move on to the lodestone compass. The lodestone compass was added alongside the lodestone in Minecraft 1.16. A lodestone compass is essentially a compass that looks enchanted. The lodestone compass can also be enchanted with the curse of vanishing, if you wanted to. Now a lodestone compass is a compass that is linked to a lodestone. A lodestone is one of these cool looking blocks right here. The lodestone is possibly Minecraft's most expensive block. You need a piece of netherite to actually be able to craft this thing. When you make a lodestone and then you use a compass on the lodestone, the compass becomes linked to that lodestone. Check out the needle on the compass. There's always going to point to that lodestone right there. You made a lodestone compass and you instantly regret it. Like you just really didn't mean to do that with your compass. Well, uh, pretty simple. All you need to do is break the lodestone. However, check out the lodestone compass. It's going a little crazy now. With the lodestone broken, the lodestone compass is basically completely useless. It doesn't know what to do. The arrow just spins around like it's in the wrong dimension or something. If we put the lodestone back, the lodestone compass still has no clue. You will need to relink the lodestone compass. Unless. Unless. Check out this life hack. We have the lodestone compass linked to that lodestone. Clearly, right now, we put it inside of a container. Then we go ahead and break this lodestone. Then we check out the compass over here. It's still linked. Essentially, you could have a lodestone compass linked to something, leave it inside of a container, and it will always stay linked, even if you move that lodestone. Maybe that's a quick and easy way to mark multiple things in your world. Just name the compass first, because as soon as you pick the compass up, unfortunately, it's unlinked again. What happens if we, uh, you know, linked a lodestone compass to a lodestone and then went to a different dimension? Well, if we did that, pretty much the same thing as the whole unlinking thing or other dimension thing with the other compass thing happens. It spins around in the nether in the end. One thing that the lodestone compass has over the other compass, though, is the fact that you could actually use this in any dimension. You could place a lodestone down in both the nether and the end, link a compass to it, and you're good to go. The Lodestone Compass is actually pretty cool for being able to locate things inside of your world. Just expensive. That's two-thirds of the way done with the Compass Talk today. If you haven't yet, now is the perfect time to leave a like, and if there's a specific topic you'd like to see next episode, drop it down below. Nowadays, Minecraft 1.19, things are a whole lot more dangerous than they used to be. If we want to check out the third and final version of the compass, we're going to need to go to the ancient city and check out the loot chest. Hopefully, we can get lucky here and reach the... It's somewhere over there. Yeah, <laughs> right there. Okay, that building is completely ruined. <laughs> Let's try a different one before the warden comes. Okay, I'm pretty sure I only have one chance left. Here goes nothing. Inside of the chest is nothing. Nothing that we need at all. Nothing that we need at all. We need to run. Here we go. This chest... Uh, this chest is still not like it at all. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no. Not exactly the best luck looting the ancient city today, but that's fine. And my big point here is the loot inside of the ancient city loot chests, the echo shard. And look, a compass too. We're gonna need both of these things. The newest version of the compass is called the respawn or uh, recovery. I, I think it's recovery. Yeah, yeah, recovery compass. The recovery compass was added to Minecraft in 1.19. The recovery compass is currently the only thing in the entire game that uses echo shards in the crafting recipe. It's the only use for these things. The recovery compass is also, for some reason, significantly larger than the other compass. Hmm. The point of the recovery compass is, well, recovery. If you've never died in your world, the recovery compass is going to be completely useless to you. If you haven't died in your world and you make a recovery compass, the recovery compass will simply spin around. It doesn't know what to do. 
However, if something unfortunate has happened to you in your survival world, the recovery compass is actually pretty useful. To check this out, first, have something bad happen to you. Second, craft a recovery compass and pick that compass up. Once you've made your recovery compass, check out the needle. The needle will actually point you towards the exact spot where you last died. As long as you haven't died in, like, lava, like I did, or fallen into the void, this is pretty useful for getting your stuff back. The only shortcoming that this functionality has is the Y level. The X and Z axis, it can figure it out, but the Y level, it won't be able to figure it out. Clearly, last time I died, I wasn't up here in the air, but the compass has no clue. It thinks it's found the spot. This shouldn't really be a problem, though, because as long as you can remember vaguely where you were down in the caves on the surface or whatever when that incident happened, you'll be able to find your stuff. Here's the thing, though. If you think crafting a recovery compass and then carrying it with you at all times is a good idea... That's a terrible idea. Because when you respawn, the recovery compass will not be inside of your inventory. Is that a change that should be made? Well, I mean, it's not a bad idea. Instead, the best spot for this blue compass is probably, most likely, inside of a chest is somewhere around your base. You store it inside of the thing just in case of emergency, and hopefully, emergency never comes. The recovery compass, whether it's inside of your inventory or not, will always know where you last died. Minecraft's iconic compass trio. That's it for this episode. What do you think? Do you think the recovery compass should always stay inside of your inventory? Or do you just need to leave it inside of a chest? Which compass do you think is the best one? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed this episode of the Everything series, definitely drop a like and consider checking out this episode next. That one's all about the Swift Sneak Enchantment. Did you know it has secret levels? Big, big shout out patron gang, Bill Geek, Medical Boomstick, and Swoopy Louvers. Thank you so much for the support. And that'll be it. It's me, your boy. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Wait, 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 what's that? You're, you're still here again, just like last episode? Aw, thank you. Well, this time, no secret fact or anything, but look at this. The curse of vanishing does not go on the recovery compass. Why? Why? I am so disappointed. You don't even know.